This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the Bushnell 8x30 Image View 5 megapixel Sync Focus Instant Replay binoculars. That's kind of a mouthful. Now, you can get these guys for about $200 online. The MSRP on them is actually closer to $370. So, as I said, they're 8x30, so 30 millimeter lens, 8 times magnification. And what sets these ones apart from, uh, from other binoculars is that we have this 1.5 flip up LCD screen, digital camera controls here. And if we take a look on the other end of the device, you can see here are two uh, binocular lenses and a um, uh, digital camera lens here for the 5 megapixel camera. So now the focus knob that you, you're probably used to using with a standard set of binoculars not only adjusts focus on, on these two image planes, but also on the uh, camera image plane here. So there's an initial setup process that you have to go to, which includes um, dialing the eyepieces here if you wear prescription eyeglasses uh, to get it such that um, what you're seeing in focus for you is actually going to also be in focus for the, for the camera. But then once that initial setup's done and uh, you're looking through the binoculars, uh, anytime you focus using the, the focus knob here, uh, like I said, both image planes, the binoculars and the camera, will be um, focused in sync. At any time, you press this button here to snap a photo, a uh, 5 megapixel photo. You can dial down the resolution if you want to. You can also record video clips up to 60 seconds, which is where the instant replay comes in. So if you choose instant replay, if you, have, uh, if you select to record a video, uh, any time you hit the snap button, you are then, like I said, recording. You can record anywhere from 5 to 60 seconds of video. Uh, you can also um, set it such that uh, it's basically recording in a loop. So you're recording 60 seconds of video. Uh, anytime you hit the shutter button to stop, it'll record the previous 60 seconds basically prior to when you hit stop. It's kind of a buffering process. So now the controls are pretty standard. Obviously, the screen is, is, is kind of tiny here, um, but you'll be looking through the, uh, through the eyepieces anyway. You can navigate through using this little menu system here. Um, like I say, pretty simple operation there. Now, if you slide this down here, we have uh, a slot for an SD card. Uh, the documentation says it can only take a 2 gigabyte SD card, which, uh, which seems kind of strange. We also have a mini B USB port here that we will use for connecting to our PC to take the pictures off of the camera. And also, uh, this little port here is for the remote shutter cable that comes included in the box. The tripod that it's sitting on also comes included in the box. And that's important anytime you're, you're dealing with uh, kind of a high level magnification, like an eight times magnification. Um, you know, any, any, any slight movement on the binoculars will translate to uh, kind of a crazy shake uh, through the camera lens. So, like I say, here's the remote shutter. Plug that in here and then just hit that little button to take a picture. So this one's aimed primarily at sports fans in, in the product literature, which makes sense given the instant replay thing. So, you know, if you're in the nosebleed section of, you know, a favorite baseball team, might be something you want to take a look at. I could also see a, a usage case for bird watchers and, uh, and basically nature nuts. Um, so, you know, when you're, when you're looking at the bird through the binocular, you can just instantly snap a picture quick and easy like that. Now in the box, we get a soft case for the binocular here. We also get the remote sync remote sync cable that I showed you before, and a neck strap, as well as the uh, USB cable for syncing, and a cheap little microfiber cloth here. Now, one final point. Um, I did mention the initial setup process. Uh, th so, as a, as a piece of consumer technology, it's reasonably simple. If, you, you know, if you've played around with, um, with digital cameras before, you'll, you'll pretty much be able to pick it up. But there are some little idiosyncrasies that you'll need to be aware of. Also, the initial setup process, where you have to dial in these eye cups and, you know, to make sure everything is, is focused in sync, um, is not actually detailed in the product literature that comes in the box. So, you are effectively required to go um, online, download the PDF, and pretty much print it out. Um, so in a case like that where you really do need the product manual in order to actually be able to use the device properly, it really should be included in the box. But that's, that's kind of a small complaint. So that's a quick look at the Bushnell 8x30 Image View 5 megapixel Sync Focus Instant Replay Binoculars. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. 
Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadgettv.